So we're looking at ways that tech and digital culture are somehow influencing the creative work that you're doing. What are some other ways that, you know, for example, the internet or the online viewer uh, okay. has come together? Well, I have a live show um, called Some Greater Class, which started a couple of years ago and was commissioned um, by Hales Gallery and the Arts Council. And, and, um, and I've been exploring it and further developing it in the last two years, and we're going to be touring it this year. And that is basically a lot about this idea of being viewed and viewing and the computer screen and not being able to switch channels and it, it reaches into conversations about connectivity and how that has been altered and kind of uh, you know inflicted by our sort of sub relationships that happen through our phones or uh, whatever. That's really interesting so when we're talking about who's the viewer who's the performer who's the participant do you yeah. think that's being mediated in new ways by devices? Uh, yes, I do. I think there's a flippancy that I both enjoy and, and dis, you know, kind of I'm disgusted by that uh, <laughs> you can you can you can watch something and it's 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 I don't know why this gesture is today, but uh, you can watch something and um, it's not real at all. Mm. It's something that you can throw away. And I mean, I suppose that kind of information started from things like the news or uh, I don't know, just the way we experience can often be a very um, screened out reality. Right.